Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm outside West Ealing Station this morning. I've come here today on the 7th of December 2022 to ride the last parliamentary train to West Ryslip. That's Chilton Railway service which runs from here to West Ryslip, a section of track which after today won't be possible to do on the passenger trains and freight trains will still use it. It's going to be replaced with a bus because that's um, supposedly cheaper to run a bus than a train. The whole idea of this train, well it goes back to when Chilton Railways used to run a service into Paddington. What well, used to be quite common from time to time at weekends, you'd get a Chilton Railway service and you'd find it's going to Paddington if there was engineering works on the line into Maribyrn. What then happened was they needed to keep driver route knowledge alive, so you would get a train about once a week into London Paddington, which was always good fun to ride, I always enjoyed it. That line closed because they need part of the track bed for HS2, but to avoid closing the line fully without going through the um, parliamentary closure proceedings, they then started running a ghost train or a parliamentary train, called ghost train because usually not many people are on it, I think there'll be quite a few today, from South Ryslip to here at West Ealing. So it's like an express service down the Greenford branch. You have got the local service that stops at all the stations from here to Greenford, which I did do an episode of Branch Line Britain on. So if you want to see that video, see more of the branch and its history in detail, then have a look at the link on screen now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over onto the platform, we're going to wait for the Chilton Railways train to arrive, and we're going to ride it up to West Russell. I've just come into the station from the mezzanine level on the footbridge. Get quite a nice view of the station. There's an Elizabeth line train just pulling in. That's the Greenford branch platform just there. So you do get the Great Western 165, which shuttles up and down between here and Greenford. And it has some of the least used stations in London. So it's quite an exciting little journey to do. And that's still going to be available. It's not that that we're losing. It's the Chilton Railways service. So I've had a look. The service was coming empty from London Marylebone. It's already left London Marrow Road, so I'm going to do, go down to the end of the platform and we'll wait and see that arrive. You never know, you might see the other odd interesting train pass through. There you go, something, sounds like an eye. It's a Great Western 800 or 802. Not as exciting as the HSTs, but you know. Anyway, let's go and wait and see this train arrive for our last trip up to South Ryslip. So I've just come down the bay platform now, waiting for the train on the dot matrix indicator behind me it says the next train is i know you can't see it because that has that funny thing with cameras it goes all funny anyway it says green for the next train and then the next one the 1117 says west ricep so today is the last day we'll see that you might get it on the dot matrix indicator at the front of the station it will say you know the next one to west ricep is a bus from the front of the station so it'll be interesting to see how that works and how many people use it today there is quite a few enthusiasts waiting on the platform you know to see and ride this train i did this train when it used to run from south ryslip to here to west ealing in how when would it be it was the summer of 2019 i did it with my girlfriend i told her that no one else would be on the train or if any very few and there were six people which was quite a lot for that day i actually said to the guard i said is this a lot he said yeah normally it's two or three but today or that day it was six i do also remember another parliamentary train that used to run there used to be one from Wandsworth Road to Kensington Olympia. Now we're talking, so back in 2010 I must have done it? No, maybe before then. And I remember going on that as a Southern Class 455, which have all been scrapped now. And I was the only person on it. And I remember I got off at Kensington Olympia and he said, we have not seen anyone. See that come through? He said, we've not seen anyone use the afternoon train for about two weeks. So that was quite funny. Anyway, I'm going to wait now and um, we'll probably see what we will. There's a little flying train. We'll see the Great Western Class 165 come in and then that will go, I think, and then the um, Chilton Railways one will come in. Sometimes you get both of them in at the same time because it's a fairly long platform for the short train they run. So let's wait and see what turns up. Well, we know Class 165 is going to turn up.
So the Great Western trains arrived and I think it's just about to go. It was quite nice to see a Class 66 come through in a retro livery. So that's going to go now. A few minutes late, well, there goes uh, Elizabeth Line train. Once that's gone, then the Chiltern Railways train's going to come in and that's the one we're here to catch. So this service isn't in danger, it's not closing, it's not stopping, so you can come and ride this one. But today's train, the one we're coming in next, that is the last one. And it's going to be a free car unit, which, look at the amount of people that are here, I think that's a good idea. Here it goes. So it should just be a few minutes time now till the Chilton Railways train arrives and that's what everyone's here to see and ride. So here we are, we're on that last train, West Ealing. Last time I'll probably ride Class 165, a Chiltern Railways Class 165 out of West Ealing. So there's quite a lot of people. This train, as I said, doesn't normally get many people, but there's people, still a lot of people out there taking pictures, and it's going to fill up pretty soon. So we're going to have a look out the window, see what we can see. This is going to become a very rare track after today for passenger trains, apart from the odd rail tour, I don't think there will be many more passenger trains coming up this way, so this is going to be quite an enjoyable, quite a short but enjoyable journey through the West London suburbs. So we're just about to depart, we've just got the road, we're departing bang on 11.17. So we go up to the Greenford branch, as I said, I've covered that video before. I'll endeavour to point out the window a few things once we get to Greenford South Junction. It's Greenford South Junction to Norfolk Junction, which is the rare bit track, which you won't be able to do again after today, unless you get your charter train. Yeah, West Rice, calling at West Rice of Bowling. Hope you enjoy this final ride for Chilton Railway. Well. Thank you. I think we will enjoy that final ride and I think everyone else on the train will enjoy it. The train is pretty full, so it's, it's all the funny thing is it's the ghost train that no one uses and then you get a last run and everyone turns out for it. So we're just on the triangle now. There's, that was the plaza works in there. In a minute, there's a rare bit of track which I still haven't done. The other side of yeah, that's the plaza works. The other side of the triangle. So a train heading down the Greenford branch, or I suppose up the Greenford branch, can then turn right onto the Great Western Main Line. I've still not done that bit of track. But I've done all the other bits in this area. So that's that triangle there. They quite often use this triangle and the other triangle at the other end of Greenford for turning steam locos. There, oh, that's that bit of line. That's good for Drayton Green because you get steam locos at South and for West Coast Railways and locomotive services. So they quite often turn on that bit of track. So we're just about to go through the short platforms of Drayton Green and, um, and then we go through the tunnel, the modern tunnel. There's a few people there, a few cameras on the platform taking pictures. I think I'd rather ride it than take pictures. I did think about trying to watch the stock movement but I thought then I'd have to run from Drayton Green to West Ealing and I probably wouldn't have got a seat so I'm glad I did it the way I did. And we're about to go into the tunnel. So the other so we just passed through South Greenford. We're coming up to the junction now, South Greenford Junction. So South Greenford Station and South Greenford Junction, about half a mile apart. And um, we'll see the spur that goes up into Greenford Station. So that's the line, like I say, you'll be able to do, be able to keep doing in the future. That's not closing. It's the line from South Greenford Junction, which um, goes up to Norfolk Junction. That's what we won't be able to do. It used to be a very busy line with 
Great Western Express is out of Paddington up to Birkenhead up to Wolverhampton. It was basically GWR's north main line and now this is the, the last train on it. Also we go as we go through a complex of viaducts for the central line. So the Greenford branch actually terminates in the middle of the two central line platforms. I think it must be the only place in London where you can catch a national rail train and then continue your journey on further away from London on the London Underground. So it's going to be quite a scene. We're just going past the houses. And, uh, we're just starting to curve around now. We'll, we'll soon see the girders of the central lines viaducts. And there is also the other side, of the, we've passed the other side of the triangle because um, I can see the central line on the other side. Yeah, so this is it now. We're just about to, we're just about to go under the central line now. Well, that's the line into Greenford. That's the line you can still do. Which, um, I do recommend doing this line, it's quite a fun trip. And that's one of the central lines, central lines down line viaduct. So we're now on really rare track. And that's the central lines up line viaduct. You can see my reflection. So I don't know what I'm next going to do this again. Um, probably will one day, you know, be your chance. So there you go, so see if we see a central line train. We should also see the Great Western train in the station if we can see through to the station. Oh, there's also, we just passed it, we couldn't really see it, there's semaphore signals as well, which is another thing that makes us quite exciting. So there was also a station here um, for trains stopping out straight up Paddington, could have stopped around here. There's a central line train uh, just beside us, that's going to block our view of the Great Western Turbo, the same one we would have seen at West Ealing, it will be up there. Is it, yeah, no, it's, it must have. We must, we must have passed it. Yeah, we've passed it. Someone just said because I was looking out on this side, but you would see it there. Also, the other thing, the fun thing about Greenford, it's got one of those travelator lifts, one of those non-vertical lifts. So that's always quite fun. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy the view out the window of the Central Line. I'll go over and take a few Central Line trains. We've just passed through Norfolk, and we're on jointed track. You may be able to hear that clickety clack, clickety clack. It's not many places on National Network you get that. It's not completely unique, but always, you know, I sort of usually think, oh yeah, we're on jointed track, which is, is nice to change from the welded rail. So that's the central line just there beside us. The ironic thing is, although it's the last train on this line, you could technically still do this journey and see pretty much the same because you've got lines parallel. So you've got the Greenford branch to Greenford, then you can get the central line to West Ryslip and you're running parallel to these tracks. You can see how close the central line is. I think we're just coming up to Norfolk Junction. It's not far away now. Um, and then just past Norfolk Junction is the South Ryslip Station. So we're just coming up to Norfolk Junction just now. So the central line's there now. I'm trying to think how it works. I think we go, no, the, we go over, don't we? Because this junction was built to favour trains on this line. Just the line that's just passed under us. That is the down slow line out of Maryland. So if you were to catch a train out of Maryland that's stopping at West Rice, if you travel on the line we just passed over. If you're travelling on a train that's not stopping there, they built a new fast line which is parallel to the up line. So there's some interesting bits of track to be had here. Whilst once upon a time you could only ever go that way. Now we I think we're coming up to a signal. Probably we're waiting for something out of Marylebone, one of the Birmingham Expresses to to overtake us or well not overtake, you know what I mean, go ahead. Well, we're still waiting just by Norfolk Junction. Unfortunately, there's a trespasser on the line in the Denham area, so the whole Chilton main line is blocked at the moment. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. No doubt we'll be on the move soon, but it's, um, yeah, we're going to be a little bit late. On in the Denham area still, hopefully, uh, the police are on site now, hopefully we'll get a bit more information. For the moment, we're still going to be sitting here for a little while. Sorry for the convenience. I didn't convenience. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the view on this very nice last ghost train. <laughs> Again, I'll let you know any more news as, as and when it comes in. Sorry about the delay. Here we are, we're just now coming into South Ryslip Station. Sorry, yeah, West Ryslip Station. Let me get myself some West mixed up. So, just coming in now. And we're in the down platform, so the train's now going to have to do a shunt move. So, we're going to get out, we're going to have a look at the train and um, as I said it's not that unusual seeing a 165 here but we're going to have a look at the train and watch the she goes a few people there's Jeff Marshall 
That was Jeff Marshall on the platform. I thought he'd be on it, but no, he was standing there filming it come in. So maybe we should go and say hello to him. Here we are, we're at West Rice, that was quite an enjoyable trip. Um, a lot of the crowds have moved over onto the other platform waiting for train back to London. There's a few people on this platform, including Jeff Marshall, who I went and said hello to after seeing his little cameo as we arrived at the station. I was thinking, now I don't know if anyone who's watching this will know, is this the only time you could get a direct train between two stations that both have West in them. I know obviously you might get a train that stops at two stations with West in, but to get a train from West Ealing to West Ryslip, is there anywhere else you can get a train from West to West, you know, direct train and it's two Wests together? I don't know. If you do know, please do comment and tell me. I'm going to now wait and see what happens. Um, well, not a lot. You might get the odd 68 through, but I probably won't wait to see that. The train we're on, I think, has gone to the siding up there. You've got the HS2 tunnels just up there, so that's um, it's all quite interesting seeing what's going on. It's uh, this station, which, I, although not too far away from me, I've not used that much over the years, it's interesting to see how it's changing. So the HS2 tunnels will effectively run along under there. So it's all gone quite quiet now. There's a lot of enthusiasts here. You'd think a steam train was coming through, but there isn't. We're just now going to wait, and I'm going to catch a train home. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from a rather busy West Rysip station, goodbye.